Hey guys, how's it going? Quick Ripple update here. Ripple's got a lot of my attention. So it's January 22nd, and it's about a little bit afternoon. If you guys enjoy my videos, I'd really appreciate an upvote on Steam it. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share to the content on social media like YouTube and Twitter. I post some pretty good stuff there that tries to help out the public while I'm day trading here. So what we notice about Ripple is that it's wedging into this area. And this is what I'm noticing. This is a buy zone where we bounced off of it before. And it definitely does like to test it again. So don't even disclude it or discount it for, for a second that it could possibly make a touch down there, okay? Now, when is the signal to go long? In a lot of my videos, I introduce specific price points that it could reach to. So here, I'm going to do a combination of many things. I'm going to introduce to you guys a 55 moving average strategy that combines the Fibonacci sequence numbers of 8, 13, 21, and 55. So now that we have an idea of where it's possibly wedging, uh, let me pull up my Bitfinex account here because I need to get my moving averages on there for you guys to see. So the moving average strategy goes something like this, and I, I will be very quick about it, okay? So on a yellow line, this is on an uptrend, okay? The 55 line is like that, and then we have the orange line, that's the 21 like that, and then we have the purple line, that's the 13, that goes like that, and then we have the 8 moving average that goes like that. So it's fanning outwards like that, we see it. Now on a downtrend, obviously it would look the opposite, right? If you see the downtrend right there, now the yellow's on the top, right? So now I'm just gonna clone this to make it easier so I don't have to do it again. Actually, no, that's probably harder. So just think of it the other way now, okay? So on a downtrend, this one would be on the bottom, okay? This one would be on the bottom. Where did it go? What? Okay, on a downtrend, that would be on the bottom. The orange one would be the second one, right? So now this is the 8, this is now the 13, and the next one... Oh, sorry, that's not it. Purple. And now, yellow. So notice they're opposite, right? The yellow's on the bottom, and then orange, and then purple, and then this one. Now it's the opposite way where this one is on the top, orange is next, purple is next, and then blue is next. So what we want to do is we want to catch it when it's fanning out. Now, when it fans out like that, that is a really good sign of a bullish uptrend. Now, we will buy it when the yellow moving line is below all of it, and we will sell it when we see it like that, when the yellow line is above all of it for a super long-term one. And what this does is it guarantees that it maximizes your profit. So you don't take profit maybe at 50 cents, so you don't take profit maybe at 60 cents, maybe you don't take profit at 88 cents, so you don't take profit at $1.20. cents. It guarantees that you ride it as much as you can until you have actually 100% confirmed the downtrend. And then you'd be riding it. Here you go, right there. This is where you would be selling it because it's now officially meeting that criteria. Now, one would argue I could have sold it at $3.30. Yes, you could have, right? But you also could have sold it at $0.50 cents or a dollar or even a dollar twenty or a dollar fifty, right? So this guarantees that you've now confirmed the downtrend. So now you would be entering a short because the lines have now crossed over. You'd be entering a short position from 237, and would you have any reason to close it yet? No, you don't have any reason to close it yet because you haven't confirmed the downtrend. So what am I looking for, okay? What I am looking for, for to go extremely long on it, and I'm not talking about my day trading positions, okay? I'm going to use the one hour chart, first of all, as a trigger chart to see where it starts to get close, right? Where it starts to maybe look like that. And I'll be using it as my trigger chart just so I can start watching it. And the moment that this crosses over, where it meets my criteria of fanning out, I can't go back anymore now, it froze. Fanning out where the yellow line is now below it, that is the moment that I have now confirmed an official uptrend for Ripple, and I will ride that thing to the moon, and I will pick up like 50,000 to 100,000 Ripple. So that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to show you guys, 55 moving average strategy. I related it to the past of how you were able to ride it from $0.30 cents to $2.40. And this is what I'm waiting for, guys, for my big play for Ripple. So there are absolutely no numbers involved in this technical analysis. All that I'm introducing is a very long-term strategy on a three-hour chart that can guarantee and maximize your profits for the long term. So right now, there's you can try to catch the bottom and anticipate that it will move over and start an uptrend, but I'm a more conservative player lately. 
way. And what I will be 100% doing, guys, is watching it so carefully to see when we get it. Guys, just look at it with me. When it fanned out like at the 30 cents and we could have sold it at two dollars and 40 cents i'm going to keep you guys up to date with this strategy for ripple super short technical analysis but if it plays out and we actually start breaking above it soon and that fanning happens for this specific strategy we can get some pretty amazing highs so i'm pretty excited to keep you guys up to date with that all right that is all i have for ripple regardless of where it is going to be a lot of times i just ignore the numbers completely and i don't care about the price value i just care about but how it's looking to on the chart with the 55 moving average strategy right so right now i talked about it already as well we're we're kind of going into here so i'm just waiting like we tried to break above the 55 moving average of the five minute chart and we failed so miserably guys it was embarrassing how badly we failed right now so it tries to break above the 55 moving average on a five minute and if it's a bullish uptrend it might even try to break it on the 15 minute chart and then the 30 minute chart and then the one hour chart right and then eventually it just stays above the 30 minute chart so notice here if you're only using one line on the i'm using this only as one line we don't have all the other lines to indicate when the reversal has actually happened. So we have to use a different combination of exponential moving averages. And the specific ones I use, once again, are 8, 13, 21, and 55. This is part of the Fibonacci sequence for all you math geeks out there, which creates these ratios that we always see, right? When we divide, when we divide specific numbers of the Fibonacci ratio or numbers, we get this ratio here. So that's why it's very well tuned. I don't know, guys, if it's going to break anything respectable right now or not, but I'm diligently watching for this 55 moving average strategy. So that's it, guys. If you guys enjoyed my videos, I definitely appreciate an upload on Steam It. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share it to the content on social media. I feel like this is so promoted right now, me saying this, you know? But, um, but yeah, make sure you guys subscribe and stuff to YouTube and Twitter and social media like Twitter. So good luck with it, guys. There's, once again, no reason to enter a long position quite yet. Unless you're one of those people trying to catch the very, very bottom, right? For scalping, we're not talking about scalping. We're talking about long-term holds right here, okay? We're talking about long-term holds, and this is one of the ideal strategies. Make sure you guys check out my 55 moving average strategy that is linked in five seconds at the end of this video. You guys have to watch it. I spent like two hours or something making that video to introduce it to the public because there weren't a lot of strategies like this even around that it's being talked about. So at the end of this video, watch it guys. It's gonna help you understand what I'm talking about a lot more. So I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.